Okay, so when you hook up an inverter uh, to a battery, you'll have a spark. Um, this is a pretty big inverter, so it's going to have a big spark. But even the smaller ones around, a, you know, 300 watts and up pretty much have a spark when you hook them, hook them up, um, which everyone says they'll basically put a big pit or something in here, which they do, uh, and they burn or they weld the cable to it basically when you uh, when you touch it so you want to try and prevent the spark obviously um, it will throw hot metal into the air and possibly in your eyes so you'd want to wear safety glasses or something when you're hooking them up but basically I have this hooked up with um, uh, Anderson connectors cheap so basically if I just take this and touch it to here you're gonna see a big spark um, you want to try and avoid that spark. It's basically the, the capacitors inside of the inverter uh, trying to charge. So basically, you would take something like this. Uh, what is this? 50 watt. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the camera up here. You can try and see what I'm doing. I have it just sitting on a fan, so it might actually fall down. Um, so basically, you would take your cable you would take the uh, resistor, touch it to here, touch the cable to that, and that way you would charge the capacitors without uh, anything sparking. But most people don't have a capa uh, a resistor laying around. These are, they're only like a dollar, but most people don't have them. So another trick that you can do is take a pencil and sharpen both ends of it and the graphite in here will act like a resistor. It does still conduct electricity and probably a lot more than that, but it'll minimize the spark. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything. Nothing. Nothing at all. And then you can take this and connect it to that, and there's no spark. Uh, and I'm not going to hold it forever, but let me see if I can show that this will turn on. without uh, sparking. So basically it's it's on now and it didn't spark so it, it does have power. Um, turn it off. Pull this off. But yeah, that's, that's how you hook it up with without having a spark. Just take a pencil, sharpen both sides of it and just literally touch that. That'll inrush the current slowly and just like a standard resistor would. And these are 19 cents at Home Depot. <laughs> uh, this is a completely unrelated event. This is a burn from something else that got me, got me pretty good, but yep, that's all.